Welcome back everybody, the History Guy here, and this is Lucky Episode 13, playing on the British campaign for Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, my first time through the campaign, which just came out a couple of weeks ago. If you didn't see the first 12 episodes, there's a link in the description below that'll take you all the way back to the beginning to get you caught up. Uh, we're just looking over some of the information from the side mission that happened during my last mission when I sent the murderous Henry out to do that mission, looks like they were successful, no damage taken, no people lost, and uh, they inflicted some light damage on a couple of other ships, got some money, got some prestige. I'm just looking at some of these other things here. I uh, gained a little money on that mission there. New law, Parliament of Great Britain passes the Repeal Act for Securing Dependence of Ireland Act, a major component of the reforms collectively known as the Constitution of 1782, which restore legislative independence to the Parliament of Ireland. Also, we got an award, the Distinguished Service Order, a military decoration awarded to military commanders providing exceptional or meritorious service to His Majesty's Armed Forces during the times of war while under fire by the enemy. New technology has been invented, and it uh, looks like we got some 1400 money seized from good. Uh, HMS Surprise went out on a side mission and suffered medium damage, lost quite a few crew members, it seems, but sank two ships in the process, so we're grateful for that. Guilty by default. Uh, Rayo went out on that mission. Uh, so everything went pretty well. We're ready to take on Objects in Motion, which is going to be a pretty big battle with a French squadron. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get ourselves built up. We've got a lot of trophy ships right now that, honestly, I don't really plan on doing much with at the moment. But uh, in looking at this, Undefeatable can now get those 24-pounder guns. We've got enough of them in the shop that we can make that upgrade, and it's going to get us a little more accurate, a little more firepower. I don't know that we can do anything better than these Armstrong guns. We can't. I checked these. I don't think there's anywhere better we can go uh, on Surprise or on Murderous Henry. Let's take a look at Hermione real quick. Just make sure there's nothing we can do there. We just need to check the crew and everything too. We've got these 24 pounder EIC pattern guns, but we don't have enough of them available in the shop yet uh, to be able to make that change. So we're pretty much stuck with what we've got. Let's go ahead up to the optimal crew number. And I think these are probably the four we're going to go with in this mission. I don't think there's anything else, but we'll double check and see. Actually, hey, we've got these Sea Service 38s. Let's see if we can upgrade their weapons. Oh, we definitely can. We could go to the um, land pattern 78 muskets. I don't know that there's a problem with going to land guns instead of sea service guns. I don't see why that would be an issue, especially going from this to, oh, well, other than uh, much better at melee. Well, no, just in a different order, I guess. Better range. So, yeah, let's do that. All right, let's take a look at this mission and see if that's all we can take into it or if we can go get another ship. Well, as you can see, we can most definitely add more to this. Even if I send in one of my troop ships, uh, I've got room. So let's go back and get ourselves at least one, maybe two more ships, depending on how much money we've got available to us. Because I have a feeling we're probably going to need it if this fleet's as large as they say it is. So what we've got here is uh, we've got a 5th rate Hermione class, we've got a 5th rate Diana class, which is bigger, can take more men, not as many guns, but I believe bigger guns. So I, I think we're going to go with the Diana class, and we do have a name for that one. Uh, you know what, in fact, we're going to also pick up a Hermione class. Actually, let's go back and look and see what's available out of the trophies that we have, because it may be that we've got a better option. The Carnarvon is the one we just bought. There's a trophy, Ariana. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's add that one to our fleet and save the money. So that'll give us the two ships that I think we need to kind of fill things out. So now we've got to assign some officers uh, for these ships. And I'll kind of go one at a time here. Uh, I don't want to put all of my best officers on one versus the other. 
So I'm just kind of looking back and forth at these two. We need four officers for this one. We're definitely not going to have exactly the best officers, I think, on this one. This guy's got an eye patch, which is pretty awesome. We'll get a crew on there. We don't have much in the way of reserve. Same here. We need a crew. Overload. All right. That's going to be a problem. We'll have to do some upgrades there. All right. So there's our crew. I'll we'll have to get that one renamed as well. We've got at least one more patron that's got a name ready to go, but I think he's waiting on a bigger ship. So we'll uh, we'll wait to get the right ship with the right name. But let me think about names for this for just a minute. All right, so we're going to make this fifth-rate Diana class, the HMS Indefatigable. That was a request from KG. Thank you, KG, for being a supporter of this channel. And this is your ship. Uh, Indefatigable was originally built as an Ardent Class 64-gun third-rate ship of the line. Uh, in 1761, but uh, most of her active service took place after her conversion to a 44-gun uh, frigate. Uh, and so uh, we won't be quite at 44 guns, I don't think, but we will be at 40, and I think this is about as close as we can get to a ship of that, um, that size right now. So let's start by loading up those Armstrong's guns that we just took off of Undefeatable, and we'll get those on there. And then we'll also, do we really not have anything to put on the top? Are you kidding me? We don't have anything that fits there, or do we just need to do this first? There we go. That's why. Oh, thank goodness. So the six pounders up top. Yep, that's the way we want to go there. Excellent. So Indefatigable is ready to go. Now we just need a good name for this one here, and I'm going to have to think about that for a minute. So I'm looking at some of the names of British fifth-rate frigates from this time period. Um, and I, I see some really cool names. And I like HMS Resistance. So I think that's what we're going to go with here. i got to say, the British definitely had some of the best ship names of, of any Navy. Uh, just really cool ideas out there as far as what they did. So I think we're ready to go. And this is going to be interesting, so I don't know what to expect, but I know it's going to probably be the biggest sea battle we've had so far. All right, so this is what we're going to go with. Uh, we'll go ahead and add the Rayo in there as well. So uh, we've got our four ships that are going to start us out, Hermione, uh, Resistance, Indefatigable, and Murderous Henry. And then uh, it looks like what will be in our uh, reserve fleet that will come in later to help out is Undefeatable, Surprise and Rayo. Uh, we got to get a new name for that one as well. But the smaller ones, I don't worry about a whole lot. So 166 guns, 1,100 men there. Another 112 guns and 769 men here. I think that we should be in pretty good shape. Our offense preparations are in peak and latest supplies have to being gently escorted to Georgia's shores. You have to send an armed vessel to meet with large merchant that carry a large amount of rum for our needs. It's all about the rum, folks. Uh, nothing outstanding, but we expect some rebel activity on your way. I always dreamed about the day when, on my word, mighty ships of my country will bring victory for my king and glory for me. So this day comes. My forward line are approaching to the enemy one, and huge sails of French line ships are visible far behind. Odds are not equal, but my men are calm and steady. Oh, yeah. Previous reconnaissance tells us the French have at least one 70 four gun ship man would i like to get my hands on that and they are reinforced by rebels light squadron so better to keep light forces on a distance from the enemy just in case they have to roll back under mainline guns protection 74 gun ship unlikely we're able to make a decisive victory but we can hold enough time to retreat when night comes so eliminate the enemy fleet in the next five hours seems to be what we need to do here let's go ahead and look for that big one. Oh, it's way back there good gives us a little time my goodness le hector there's two big ships coming Woo, boy this will be interesting folks we'll see just what the history guy has learned if anything at all first things first we need to get on this side of him
All right, stay close. Hermione's in the lead. Uh, resistance, indefatigable, murderous Henry, who has orders not to fire, which we need to turn off. Let's get that chain shot off. Okay. You go ahead and continue following these guys. This should be interesting. Oh, look at you trying to get around me. You got the same idea I do. There we go. No, that's not going to be an ideal first volley. Now we got some damage on the sails. I really ought to hold that fire until we get right up alongside him. Come on, baby. Hold, hold, hold. Four of them reflected. It wasn't at an ideal angle, but we still did some pretty good damage there. I feel like I have the technology advantage, and so we can go toe to toe to him like this. shooting at over here oh that was him shooting over me okay I want to try and get his sails a little bit here Come on, guys, let's get caught up here. That was a bad angle. Almost everything reflected there. All right, we'll go after the Therese. There you go. Nice. It's all fun and games till the big boys arrive. I guess we're waiting on the other ships. Must be what's happening here. Feels like everybody's kind of sitting still at the moment. I 
Hermione's doing doing its job though. Getting some initial damage just with one ship. I'm just not sure why the rest of them aren't getting caught up. And why everybody seems to be sitting still at the moment. What is the deal? Nobody's moving. I don't understand at all what's happening. I'm headed toward the wind. It won't put their sails up. Now here come the big ones, and I don't have nearly the firepower in position that I'd like to. Hermione just is all by herself right now, and I don't I don't understand why. These other ships are just not moving. to have a big problem on our hands. Try to get Hermione out of here. About to take a big broadside from a huge ship. Why won't you put your sails up? There it is. Ugh. Oh, we got the Hector on fire. That's cool. I don't know if it'll last, but it's cool for now. I just wish Hermione would move. Nicely done, indefatigable. Hermione under AI control and see if that helps at all. 
The AI usually sucks, but I don't know what else to do. Therese is going to be the first one to be gone. Come on, murderous Henry. Do me proud. Almost everything bounced off on that one. Not sure what Hermione's doing. Good boy. Gonna get a broadside from the Hector. There's something we haven't seen on ships before, there's uh, experience stars. Right, Hermione, come on, get turned around. Therese is sunk. That's a whole lot of men gonna be coming over to La Sensible. Get surrendered. Now I want to see. There should be a way to be able to get rid of that ship. I just don't know what it is. We're probably better off just to continue to let it be rather than dividing my crew by taking a really damaged smaller vessel.
Poor Hermione has just been dead in the water since this thing started. Not a lot I can do to Le Hector. Try to get him behind. Tell you what, Hermione's getting some hits in. Come on. Now's your chance. There's a sinking. We're doing great against the ships that are my size. Just these two big behemoths I gotta worry about. I'm not gonna do much to the Ector from here. Not sure why they said to survive till nightfall when it says I've gotta eliminate the entire fleet. Oh, now this says one must be fulfilled, save fleet. So maybe I don't have to take these guys on. Maybe I just need to be happy with what I've done and then get out of dodge in the next three and a half hours. So let's start doing that. It's a little confusing when the mission says one thing up here, but on the victory screen it says something completely different. Now I feel like I just want to get my guys out of here. Poor Hermione might not make it though. Interesting decision there, Le Hector. A lot of shots bouncing on the water there for for him. Just go. The actor is just going to be Thorn in my side, no matter what I do here. I'm not sure we're going to survive another three and a half hours of this. We just can't do much to it. Definitely no way I'm going to capture it. Oh, 
Oh, we're at the edge of the map. Oh, that's bad. A sensible is surrendered. That's good news. Doesn't mean a whole lot at the moment. Really nowhere for me to go. Being at the edge of the map. Oh, poor Hermione. Oh, they're bored and murderous Henry. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Break free, break free. I think we're going to do it. Woo. Hermione, get out of here, please. Now surprise is the one we gotta worry about here. Let's try and go for this guy's sails. Stop, get behind him. Not again, murderous Henry. Should have been going for his sails from the beginning, too. Out of there, indefatigable. Right, Hermione's starting to get home free. Henry's doing the same thing now. Now turn this way.
Oh, resistance. That's bad. Turn, turn, turn. I'm trying to slow these guys down as much as I can. Two hours to go. Now we got a fire on the Ector. Don't touch him, though. I think we might pull out of this thing. We'll see. Oh no, we're back. What's the problem here? Oh, now we're... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now we're in that corner. Oh, I gotta pay attention to that mini-map more. I just headed right into the edge of the map. And now I've got to go against the wind, and I've got real problems. Hermione's retreated. Is that allowed? Am I allowed to retreat? Does that work on here? I guess we'll find out. It's better than losing ships, right? If we at least keep a couple of them on the map, I would guess that would still qualify as outlasting him, even if a lot of my ships retreat. The good news is Hermione retreated. That's that's the main one I'm concerned about. And if we get him to retreat too, now he's gonna turn around. We'll keep these two ships in the map. See if we can sink less sensible. Oh, he's coming back. There we go. Let's survive for an hour and a half, shall we? Right at the edge of the map. So now we're just playing the running game. We're just kind of hugging the edge of the map, trying to stay ahead of Le Hector. I've got a little bit of sail damage to resistance, which is making it very difficult to do that. I'm really worried about being captured here, so we gotta be careful. Oh, we got a fire. bad. We gotta turn. 25 minutes to stay alive. Yee. I think we're gonna be okay. Almost dark. Our sails down. 
down see if we can get into this guy a little bit come on resistance 10 minutes good Whew. that was a big mess but other than the two big ones we got rid of everything else pretty happy with that you can see he outgunned me he outcrewed me I sank four ships took out 940 crew only lost 151 will definitely have some damage to repair but Sank some, uh, sank three really big, uh, pretty, you know, probably fifth rate French ships. I'm happy with that. I'd like to get my hands on one of those 74 gun ships, though. Let's see if maybe we're at the place where we get to do that now. Got 138,000 in money now. We're still doing these side missions. It doesn't look like we've got any other main missions to deal with at this point. Oh no, there's one right there. Blockade. That's a little smaller one. I don't know what this ribbon's all about. That's going to be interesting to see, but let's take a look. No, nope, still nothing new that we get to do. We're going to take a look at what the repairs are going to require here. 1549. Only 427 there. 430. 1505. 21. Hey, not bad, really, considering what I took out in that one. So I wish, like the units in other uh, games where you get to see the history, I wish you could see the history of these ships as far as they, what did they do, what battles they fight in, what how many men have they killed and sunk and things like that. Um, but for the meantime, that's where we're at. We've got one more career point. We've No more inventions till we get to the next stage. Let's go ahead and just get a little preview of the blockade mission. All right, so this one's a little more uh, complex. Despite all of our efforts, Savannah River Mouth were blockaded. Our troops are in town, are cut it off from the sea. Cut it off, yes. They're running out of ammo and supplies, and we have no other option but to break through the blockade to deliver 56 regiment and a huge amount of cargo. East India Company ships are armed well, but fully loaded, so sail very slow. You have to secure at least two of them to grant an uh, adequate relief for our troops in town. All right, so that's what we have to look forward to. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and we'll see you again tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching.